Primary progressive aphasia isn't a type of dementia often talked about, but Wendy Williams' recent diagnosis is bringing it into mainstream conversations. WRAL health reporter Grace Haba sat down with a man from Moore County holding out hope for a cure and shares a groundbreaking discovery just made by UNC researchers working to make that cure a reality. Are there any deer out there? There might be. An afternoon stroll on the wooded trail near their home is a simple but treasured routine for Carter and Kate Grine, along with the game of tennis. The walks have become a daily essential and a way to keep Carter and his brain active. Carter Grine is, is my name, and it has been um, 15 months. Mm -hmm. 15 months. How do you feel like you talk to the kids about it? When I talked to them, I, I probably would uh, break out and cry. Since the husband and father learned he has Alzheimer's and primary progressive aphasia. I would read about four or five paragraphs and then I'm done and, it's, and it's, oh, it, it doesn't come back. Carter is 59. He was diagnosed in the early stages, making him a prime candidate for lecanemab. The drug was only approved within a month of his diagnosis, and it's still the only drug on the market which slows the progression of Alzheimer's, rather than only targeting symptoms. It is a small protein. One of those working to help patients like Carter by finding a cure is Ronit Freeman. In the research, we, we and others have discovered that it can take a twisted form like this, kind of like a twisted pasta. Just last week, she and her team at UNC announced a groundbreaking discovery about the way the protein in the brain, which causes Alzheimer's, forms. All the proteins on our body are like our left hand. They have a twist that goes to the left side. But in Alzheimer, you get structures that are twisting the other way. The hope is that further studies could reveal a way to essentially untwist the fibers and break down the amyloid plaque on the brain, reversing the impacts of Alzheimer's. And though the lab's research is still in its early stages. Whoever is doing the, the laboratory uh, stages, I say, go get them. Findings like it give the over 6 million Americans living with Alzheimer's. Sorry, for it. it's okay. Um, just like Carter. I feel like we're getting married again. <laughs> Hope. Grace Haba, WRAL News.